the American Jewish Coalition just released a poll in which 31% of all respondents said they avoid carrying any object which would identify them as Jewish. Another 25% of respondents said they avoid certain events and places because they were afraid for their safety. Why? Because the number of hate crimes perpetrated against the Jewish community in the United States has been increasing at an alarming rate. The Anti-Defamation League reported that the number of anti-Semitic incidents have doubled since 2015. Doubled. The New York Times reported last year half of all hate crimes in New York City were perpetrated against Jewish victims. This should generate not only alarm, but concern in the heart of every Pennsylvanian. The increase in hate crimes against those who are Jewish comes at a time when the boycott, divestment, and sanction movement is garnering greater acceptance in American politics and society. This movement, commonly referred to as BDS, is designed to destroy Israel's economy and destabilize the world's only safe haven for Jewish people. While those who would support BDS, whether it be universities such as Rutgers, Michigan, and the University of Chicago, label the nation of Israel as an apartheid state, the truth is the movement is anti-Semitic. Leaders from both sides of the aisle have recognized this movement, including Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi, who labeled BDS not, as not only anti-Semitic, but as anti-American. Because BDS is anti-Semitic and seeks to harm an important American ally in the Middle East and destabilize the world's only Jewish state, the General Assembly passed Act 163 of 2016 with only 10 no votes. Act 163 prevents state agency from entering into purchasing contracts with a company which supports the BDS movement. Unfortunately, in the years following this bipartisan passage of Act 163, anti-Semitism has only increased. It is why I ask for your support for House Reason House Resolution 146 to a message to Jewish residents living in Pennsylvania that we oppose anti-Semitism in any and all its forms. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.